Today, June 26, 2025, we conducted a single flight as part of the cash register test program. Throughout the flight, we additionally evaluated the performance of port equipment, particularly radio telephone devices. The Russian medium-haul passenger aircraft MC-21, which is now completely equipped with domestically produced systems and components, commenced its critical certification testing phase in June 2025. This event represents a substantial milestone in Russia's ongoing aspirations to attain technological self-sufficiency and import substitution in its civil aviation sector. The industry is closely monitoring the commencement of these certification tests, as it serves as a testament to Russia's dedication to the development of a competitive domestic passenger aircraft and the reduction of its dependence on foreign suppliers. A. The inaugural certification flight was conducted at the M.M. Gromov Flight Research Institute airfield in Zhukovsky, which is a critical center of Russian aerospace innovation. The primary objective of this flight was to assess the aircraft's radio communication apparatus which is essential for maintaining operational safety and reliability. The MC-21 operated at a variety of altitudes to replicate a wide range of real-world flight conditions during the test flight, which lasted approximately four hours. The crew for this significant mission was comprised of some of Russia's most experienced aviation professionals, including test pilot and hero of Russia, Oleg Kononenko, honored test pilot of the Russian Federation, Andrei Voropev, and leading flight test engineers Alexander Solovyov, Grigory Kudryashov, and Oleg Berezin. The extensive use of Russian-made components throughout the MC-21 is one of the most notable aspects of this phase. The aircraft is currently exclusively equipped with domestic radio electronic systems, which include onboard processors, network switches, navigation systems, and radio communication complexes. This transition to Russian technology is not limited to avionics. The MC-21 is equipped with a domestically produced auxiliary power unit, air conditioning and pressure regulation systems, lighting equipment, and cockpit control displays. Russian components have been incorporated into the aircraft's power supply, hydraulic systems, and landing gear, indicating a nearly complete transition from foreign-sourced components. This transformation is especially noteworthy in the context of international sanctions and the broader movement toward technological independence in critical industries. The certification process will entail approximately 220 to 230 test flights, according to Vitaly Narishkin, the chief designer of the MC-21 at Yakovlev Company. This rigorous program is intended to comprehensively verify the aircraft's safety and reliability guaranteeing that it complies with both Russian and international aviation standards. The testing scope is indicative of the high priority given to passenger safety and the aspiration to foster trust among prospective operators and travelers. In early May 2025, the aircraft's readiness for certification was further demonstrated by the completion of a continuous ferry flight from Irkutsk to Zukovsky by the same MC-21. The technical maturity of the aircraft and its novel Russian systems were demonstrated during this long-distance flight, which provided additional assurance prior to the rigorous certification phase. The commencement of certification testing for the MC-21, which is equipped with Russian systems, is a significant milestone for the Russian aviation industry's strategic future in addition to its technological capabilities. It underscores the nation's capacity to develop and produce contemporary, competitive aircraft that are not dependent on foreign technology. It is anticipated that this accomplishment will strengthen Russia's position in the global civil aviation market and guarantee that domestic airlines have access to secure, modern, and dependable aircraft. The MC-21 will be able to be delivered to both Russian and international airlines when the certification program is successfully completed and a type certificate is awarded. This will pave the way for serial production.
The outcome will assist in satisfying the increasing demand for contemporary passenger aircraft in Russia and may also pique the interest of foreign carriers, thereby bolstering the nation's global aviation industry presence. Today, we are actually performing one flight in the scope of the additional certification test program. The purpose of today's work is to assess the quality and range and determine the range of radio communication equipment. Two aircraft go to the certification stage of additional certification power supplies. This is MC-2012 and MC-2013 in volume. A total of 12 machines will perform flights to assess the quality of radio communication equipment along with the evaluation of the fire protection system and other criteria. This indicates that the designated volumes will be partially fulfilled on aerobatic navigation equipment. Also, but in its volume, the work is distributed among 13 machines. This will be work related to the fuel system, work related to... There will be detailed assessments of the quality of the hydraulic system and anti-icing system among other aspects. The subsequent steps will unfold over time. Our undergoing tests, we are entering the stage of special certification tests, which are carried out on other airfields in our country. Well, in particular, the software tests. Software tests under natural icing conditions will be conducted at the Arkhangelsk airfield. They will be it is assumed that they will take place at the base of the airfield in Ulyanovsk. Now, do you think the MC-21 certification tests are running behind the schedule? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.